The Hunter Arms Gallery. The abundant water power provided by the Oswego River, along with the canal system and rail lines for transportation of goods, helped Fulton establish many industries. The Hunter Arms Company was one of the many companies that made use of these available resources. The Hunter Arms Company was located between Route 41 and the Oswego River, only a short distance north of the United Street Bridge. It was founded by John Hunter and his six sons after buying the gun-making machinery from Elsie Smith of Syracuse, New York, with the stipulation that Elsie Smith be stamped on the sidewalks of the guns. The Elsie Smith guns, because of their superior features and shooting abilities, became known as the gun that speaks for itself. The factory produced close to 400,000 L.C. Smith and Fulton shotguns. During the early years of the Hunter Arms Company, they also produced the Hunter Bicycle, the Hunter Fans, at the Fulton factory. L.C. Smith shotguns and the Hunter Fans were sold worldwide. You will see several portable Hunter Fans and related items. Hunter ceiling fans were installed in factories, commercial properties, hotels, and residents around the world. Hunter ceiling fans for homes can still be bought and are now produced in Tennessee. Do you see the steam whistle? It came from the Hunter factory. Hanging from the ceiling are several L.C. Smith guns. Two of note are the carriage or bar gun. This was a gun that had the barrel sawed off and used because of its ability to be hidden behind a bar or behind the footrest of a horse-drawn carriage. Lunchbox Special. This gun most likely left the factory over a period of time in a lunchbox of an employee and then assembled at home. As a result, none of the serial numbers would have matched. And the glass showcase has a Lennox vase that the Hunter Company gave out for the first place finish at a trap competition. Within the case are other awards, pins, and items of interest. On the wall there are several books related to the L.C. Smith guns. Also note the two frame collages representing the pre and post 1912 grade L.C. Smith guns. On the south wall hangs the Hunter bicycle, also a frame picture diagram of the layout of the Hunter factory around the year 1924. Continuing around the room, you will notice several more pictures and memorabilia relating to the L.C. Smith guns, the Hunter factory, and the Hunter family. Also note the corner sink that was added during the plumbing upgrade so that the family members could wash in their rooms. You may have questions. If your volunteer today can't answer your question, or you are interested in more of the history of the L.C. Smith guns, Hunter Factory, or the Hunter family, we will contact your narrator, Les Weldon, and get an answer for you. Please enjoy each piece of history in this room before moving on to the next room.